The story begins with a narration where the protagonist says he wants no defeat. He is known as the Demon Lord and not even his best friend sees him as a human anymore. He says he wants to know defeat for everyone to see that he is someone ordinary and treat him like a normal person. However he says that everyone capable of defeating him is gone. But he says he can change that in his next life and decides to reincarnate many years in the future. That's what he does where the anime shows his parents who are now called Art celebrating his birthday. Ten years and saying that time fly. He explains that he was reborn in an ordinary family in the countryside and says that fortunately or unfortunately the level of magic has decreased a lot since his time. That is, everyone is very weak but he was blessed once again with absurd powers and the anime shows him cutting down a tree and defeating a bear with a sword. His parents say he has reached the age to become a rebel and think about his dreams and speaking of dreams he says that now that he is reborn he can run after his the dream is to make friends and be treated as equals by people without them being afraid of however that doesn't work out because he goes to the window and starts waiting for the boys down there to start talking to him but they just run away scared and he doesn't understand why the same happens when he tries to approach a group of three girls but even before that he is surprised because he was afraid to talk to them he says that not even when he was facing gods he was afraid afraid and the girls see him in the crouched corner with a stomach ache and run away. However he asks them to stop and with a lot of shame he orders them to be his friends and that way he would give them a part of the world but they just run away again. No that's how you make friends, part. He decides to take out all his anger for failing to make friends and ends up almost destroying the entire fort. The scene cuts with him sitting in front of his house with a sad face and a guy named Weiss appears there asking what had happened to him being like that. Apparently the two already knew each other and he reveals that he didn't know how to make friends and wanted to know if there was a secret behind it but Weiss just says that he needs to be calm, kind, and respectful and so he will naturally make friends. After saying that he asks Ard if he has seen his daughter around but Art doesn't even listen to what he says and says he would put it into practice right now. Following scenes are of him speaking politely and formal with the kids who were scared before, but he can't make friends with any of them again. While thinking about it he hears a girl's voice nearby and goes flying to see who it was. There he sees a girl with silver hair fighting a monster and the scene cuts showing a dialogue between Weiss and Art's parents where he comments about his daughter having distanced herself completely because of the teasing she had been receiving and not even talking to her own father anymore. Art's parents Art says they understand her wanting to isolate herself because there is nothing to be done about the lineage she belongs to and they say it was good that they returned from the capital. The scene cuts with Art going to talk to her who ends up getting scared. He apologizes and says that the way she fought was impressive. He notices that she didn't react to his words and is afraid of having said something wrong. He tries to say something else but when he sees that she doesn't react, he despairs and asks to be her friend. He goes on to say that the two could form a beautiful friendship and understand understand each other, but she frowns and says that he couldn't understand anything about her then runs off. However instead of understanding that she doesn't want his friendship he he follows her and tries to be kind to her, but she just avoids him again and again. He even brings her flowers but she just uses a fire spell to roast him. It's on fire man. The scene cuts with she in the forest defeating some monsters at night. Art appears there saying that he knows that she was going there to de-stress defeating monsters and once again he is on her feet bothering her hoping that she will become his friend but once again she runs away. This time going towards the mountains which is a problem because soon after Art arrives home and lies down he hears some screams and notices that his village was being attacked by goblin. He leaves the house see the situation and soon the her father arrives there saying that his daughter did not come home and he says that she was in the mountains and would get her. Going there flying soon after the scene cuts showing her surrounded by goblins in the forest where they threatened her but she instead of fighting she just gives up saying that her life was really boring. However she asks for someone to save her when the goblins attack her and that's what Art does. Saving her from the group of goblins that had attacked her and defeating everyone easily. She asks why he saved her when she wanted to go to base and he tells her not to say those sad things. She says there's no way he can understand how she feels because she's alone and lonely and he replies that's the way it is too so he understood her pain. She says that he would get tired of being her friend because she is tricky, tantrum, this and that but he says he wanted to form an eternal friendship with her and would never betray her. The two then become friends and the scene cuts with Art's parents wondering if the magic of flying was a lost skill. A time skip takes place several years into the future showing them as teenagers and Irina inviting Art to join a school of magic along with the scene cuts 
cuts with them being welcomed by the director who starts drooling over them saying that the two have an impressive aura which is expected of the two sons of three great heroes but R doesn't understand why he was saying that if her parents were just country people and not hero the director says he would immediately place them in the elite class but he needed them to take the written test first when seeing the results Irina notes that she passed with a high mark the Ard passed with score zero that's right score zero the director arrives explaining that his answers were wonderful and he was a genius or rather a monster however Ard asks how that is possible if he got zero and the director reveals that he really is he answered everything wrong however this is just within the standards of modern ideology and his answers far exceeded expectation this one can only be crazy really no it's just that Ard's answers solved the magic problem there that they were having rocket babe style easily found the solution to the problem that high evolutionary was having in guardians 3 those who saw it will remember i hope it's the same thing here he tells all the students around that they are lucky to study with him because he is the son of the heroes who defeated a great threat 10 years ago and the scene cuts with Irina explaining that really her father and his parents defeated the god of evil 10 years ago something he didn't know when he arrived in classroom all the students gather around them and start wanting to be his friend in the background they see a lazy boy named Iraldo hitting a girl named Ginny obviously both Irina and Ard confront him for doing this and he explains that even though they're from the countryside they must have heard about the count I don't know how many there I don't remember his name and Irina says yes he says he's her son and this girl is from a family of dukes but how they are below his family this girl who is a succubus is his servant this bloke challenges Ard to a duel and soon he hears a familiar voice and before he even turns around he hears the student say that she is the lord's general demon Barvado that is she is his own general and is the teacher of the class he is embarrassed thinking that she must be very angry that he left her and reincarnated and says that she cannot know that he is the reincarnated Barvado her name is Olivia and despite having interrupted them she allows the duel between them because she wanted to see their power. The scene cuts to the battlefield where this boy, all confident, begins to cast his powerful spells on top of the Ard spells that according to he was Ultra, Giga, Mega and these things that are more powerful and bigger versions of the common spells however the Ard speaks with sincerity that these spells are not Mega at all and are just normal spells which annoys Iraldo. He then uses another spell that the students call Giga Flame but Ard looks surprised at them saying that this was just a sequence of normal flare. He then hits Iraldo's magic with a snap and says that it would show him a real Giga Flame and the power is so impressive that it makes Iraldo ask for a break at the time saying that Ars won the fight. After that Irina says that if he bothered Ginny again he would see the two of the teacher who is his general in his old life approaches him and says that he noticed that he used two spells at the same time in the duel and he says yes asking what was wrong with that saying that if he had used several at the same time it would be fine but only two was not nothing much and she responds saying that using two spells at the same time nowadays is considered a lost spell and she distrusts him for not having any sense of the magic standards of today she says she would take the answers out of his mouth another day and then sends everyone to a practical class where they should hunt and skin a b-plus ranked black wolf but all the students are scared to hear that rank however she says that such a thing would not be a problem for the ard the mission was in a group and he formed this group with irene and Ginny, who was impressed to see their ability with magic ard offers to give her some magic lessons and tries to make her repeat some spells that he cast but instead if she fails she gets very sad saying it was useful ard tries to explain to her that succubi have a lot of magical potential but she says she is a useful useless succubus and with those words he realizes that Iraldo's violence and abuse made her lose all confidence in herself but he says he has one more spell to teach her he calls it magic writing and basically to activate it he moves his fingers as if he were writing a magic circle and it forms by attacking his enemy the two are impressed because they had never seen this magic before and Ard says it's because he created he teaches Ginny using this magic and she hits the spell defeating a wolf then they remember that they should take his skin but when they approach the wolf they fall into a a trap and are thrown into the boss room who is a subscriber of only fan there Ard confidently says that this will be more fun than facing those wolves and decides to teach them better about writing mad he starts by saying not to use it in a melee fight while holding off the bull's attack with one finger then he throws the beautiful woman's follower away with a push and tells them that magic writing must be used after getting distance from the enemy and of course he puts a beautiful rain of magic on the giant bull and explains to them what to use the magic writing does not consume any magic magic so it is possible to use several magic circles at the same time and tells Ginny to finish the boss. She resists but he says things that give her courage and she getting up says that she would not run away from things anymore and would fight so she uses this magic on the bull and finish him 
When they leave the dungeon he tells the teacher that they defeated the boss and one of the two says that it was thanks to Ard's magic writing but he gives an excuse saying that it was thanks to work hard and they almost die. Iraldo appears there mocking Ginny and talking bad about Ard and Irina too and in response to Ginny slaps him telling him not to talk bad about his friend. The scene cuts with the school principal asking Ard to participate in a tournament between schools that would happen soon. He asks if the principal wanted to use him as a tool and he explains that no, he just wanted to win the tournament so the school's budget could be increased and in helping the students and everything but however he wasn't very interested and asks the principal to give him some time to think. Meanwhile the teacher Olivia says that she would find out who he really was and why. Walking in the corridor he talks in his mind that if he didn't participate in the tournament he could be expelled and have his academic life alongside Irina ruined however if he fought Olivia he would be even more suspicious of his identity because he would be forced to show his power. He is approached by Ginny who invites him for a date. Yes, that's that's right. And soon after Irina appears there and says that she would like to go on a date with him too and asks Ginny if everything was okay where. She replies yes, because she didn't want to monopolize him. The scene cuts with the three going out on a date. They went to watch a play about the demon Lord Varvados who in this world is not seen as a villain from what I understand. However during the play the Ard is extremely bothered by the woman playing who he calls Lydia was doing a completely different performance from how she was originally and in a flashback the anime shows that this woman's personality was stubborn and quarrelsome, total different from how she was being represented there. When leaving the play the two girls say they are with Hungry and Ginny takes them to a strange alley saying that there was a good place just ahead. He sees that in an alley there are some strange masked men planning something against the queen saying that she would be very soon in their hands and saying that when a such a magic circle was complete not even she would escape unharmed. Ard says he would follow them and the two go with him. They end up in a sewer and getting there they see a giant magic circle but Ard says he understood giving a smile of rope. Soon they are surrendered but Ard reveals he knows that it was a trap to lure them there. He says that if they wanted to eliminate them they would have attacked them by surprise and not surrender and they would not even bother to build a magic circle like that but soon they start to catch fire and the leader of these masked ones says that they just need their target alive however. He is surprised to see that the Ard had not gone from base and he responds saying that their scheme does not represent a threat to him and then destroys the magic circle easily in addition to defeating everyone there with a spell. However he leaves their leader awake and says that he might let him live if he said why he did that but he reveals himself to be a demon disguised and flies out of there after making a hole in the ceiling. However the Ard goes after him and when he arrives in the city he takes a little girl hostage and the people of the city start to flee in fear. However the Ard calms everyone there saying that he is the son of the great wizard Jack Meteor and he says that he would defeat the monster but he asks how he had a host but oops what hostage yeah he reveals to have used an illusion spell on the demon and we see the little girl safe with her mother. He even tries to run away but is defeated by the Ard who gains the sympathy of the residents to the point where they start to raise him in the air. The scene cuts with them going to see the queen for what they did. They prostrate themselves to her and Ard notices that her aura emanated beauty and elegance however Irina gets up and greets her informally as the two were already friends. Until then beauty. She says she would reward him for what he did and says she wanted him to become her husband which leaves him in shock but Irina complains saying that he was already hurt. However he changes his request as a reward wanting an increase in his magic school's budget so he wouldn't have to compete in the tournament for the school to have the increase. However what he didn't want happened she decides to give an even bigger increase to the school and also grant it to him and the Irina the Pentagon rank which is a high rank which is bad for him because he didn't want to draw attention. The episode ends with that group of strange men saying that he, referring to the Ard, was more powerful than they predicted and that he was exceptional but he would not be a match for that cruel monster. One of them asked asks if they can trust that woman and another replies that his concern was unnecessary because that woman really intended to destroy this world and another of them saying that they would do everything to restore it the world to its correct state under the rule of their lord whatever they mean by all that. The scene cuts with a conversation between a girl and the principal where he reveals that Ard will no longer participate in the battle event and the girl says that this is a shame but says that the queen has already ordered the school's budget to increase but the principal says that this is not the problem. He wanted Ard to be an instructor at this academy but the nobles would be against a commoner's son becoming an instructor and that's why he wanted Ard in the tournament because after seeing the power from the Ard firsthand they would have to accept it. The girl named Jessica tells the principal that she would solve it and the scene cuts with her kicking the door of Ard's room and entering without permission. She is a teacher and enters inviting the two who were in his room to participate in the battle event as it would help with the director's plan to make Ard an instructor. Obviously they don't understand right away so she says that the director said 
the student position is no longer validates for him and he should teach like a teacher. They ask how that involves them and Jessica explains that if they performed well and won it would prove that Ard is fit to teach after all they had training from him. However they say that the Ard taught them that they shouldn't show off their powers for free but to protect others and maintain their own convictions but Jessica takes it hard. She says that the instructors are going to start wearing a super cool uniform and asks if they wouldn't go wanting to see the Ard using it and they answer yes at the time, accepting to participate in the tournament and promising each other that they would fight fairly. Jessica then says that she would be looking forward to this tournament while making a suspicious face. The scene cuts showing the beginning from the tournament where some random students were fighting. Among the guest commentators were Irina's father and Ard's parents who only talk nonsense. After the fight ended a member of the tournament enters the room where Irina was saying it was her turn. Her opponent is already attacking her right away and she dodges but falls to the ground. In the audience she sees Ard praying which doesn't motivate her but little did she know that he was praying for the two to lose and that way he wouldn't become a teacher. It's not anymore is it easy for him to just tell the principal that he doesn't want to be a teacher, I don't know, I just know that she easily defeats her opponent using the magic writing she learned from Ard. After winning her next opponent was Ginny and watching Olivia fight says she was excited to see this fight. Ard agrees, but this fight doesn't even happen because those strange men from before were in the audience and they turn into demons attacking the tournament. Teacher Jessica says she would stay together with Ginny and Irina while Ard and Olivia would take care of another part of the tournament. Until then, everything looked good and they were calmly defeating the demons until her father arrived and saves them from a powerful crystal monster. Ginny is impressed with the power of her father who is the heroic Baron, but soon after he is punched from behind by Jessica, in a good way. I mean, I don't think it has a good sense. The guy is going from base. I don't know. I just know that Jessica reveals that she is not actually a teacher, but is called the insane dragon. Ginny tells Irina to run away while she was holding Jessica, but she ends up being easily defeated and Irina tells her not to hurt her. However, Jessica knocks her down and she says okay, she could take her, but if she hurt Ginny she would bite her tongue and go to base. The episode ends with Jessica revealing she has wings and taking flight while carrying Irina and taking her to another place. And this was part 1 of Shiju Saikyu Summer. Where was Ard? Why didn't he help Irina and how is he going to save her? If you're also curious about this then comment a lot and leave your like so I know it's worth bringing a part 2.